And first up here at 10, a Tampa woman accused of posing as a homeschooled middle schooler over social media and molesting a student is now facing new charges. Four more victims have come forward, accusing 23-year-old Alyssa Zinger of lewd and lascivious behavior. Fox 13's Jennifer Vagles joins us now live in the newsroom. And Jennifer, how long has this been going on? Yeah, Brianna, you may recall our coverage in November when Alyssa Zinger was first arrested after one boy between the ages of 12 and 15 came forward, stating she posed as a 14-year-old over Snapchat and lured them to engage in sexual acts. Now, four more victims, all between 12 and 15 years old, have come forward, stating Zinger targeted them too. Zinger, who had been released on bond from her November arrest, was put in handcuffs again on Thursday, now facing 11 felonies, including lewd and lascivious battery and molestation, possession of child pornography, sexual cyber harassment, and more. The charges are very serious. Friday, ahead of Zinger's first appearance in court, state attorney Susie Lopez called the case every parent's worst nightmare. She was preying upon these victims who believed that they were actually her age when in fact she's a grown up. In November, Zinger was arrested by Tampa police. According to search warrants we obtained, in May 2023, she befriended students at Woodrow Wilson Middle School on Snapchat, posing as a 14-year-old homeschooled student and engaged in more than 30 sexual acts with one or more students from the school. Some she recorded and sent to other students. At the time, Zinger pled not guilty. State Attorney's Office has a dedicated unit, the Special Victims Unit. Our attorneys there are qualified and are trained to deal with cases, cases such as this in dealing with young victims who have been through traumatic experiences. Now, with the total of five victims coming forward, Lopez says there could be even more out there. This is an ongoing investigation, and so she could have traveled to other counties. We just don't know at this point. Friday, Zinger's defense attorney, Daniel Fernandez, spoke about what's to come this Monday in a pretrial hearing. We're obviously going to be seeking bail, so we'll be filing our own motion. As Tampa police, if these four victims all go to Woodrow Wilson Middle, I'm told that can't be disclosed at this time. This is still an active investigation. I also reached out to Zinger's attorney for a comment on these new charges, but I have not heard back. Back to you, Brianna. All right, Jennifer Vegas live for us in our newsroom. Jennifer, thank you.